two tonight. The city's comptroller, public advocate and a council member made a surprise visit to Rikers Island today. Yeah, as is News 12's Marissa Marcelino, she has more on what they say has improved and also what still needs to change inside the jail where 12 people have died in custody this year alone. The trio of elected officials visited four facilities this afternoon to check on the city's progress to reform Rikers. They said they immediately noticed improvements to previously atrocious conditions on their tour. It's still not the safest place to be for anyone who's housed or worked there. I do want to just say it is demonstrably better than when we were here a year ago. Jumani Williams said inmates housed in what is considered to be solitary are outside more with program access. Officers are now working double as opposed to triple shifts. He said he's thankful to see a number of things are getting better. The intake system is operating. Uh, people seem to be uh, moving forward. I do think we have to focus a lot on just getting people's trials done. The public advocate said some major complaints they heard were not enough rec time, little time for officer meal breaks, and missed medical appointments. Some folks are still not being able to get their medication. There's a lot more work that needs to be done to make sure that everybody's safe on both sides of those bars. Council member Carlina Rivera said they were told showing up to work remains a problem. She also wants inequities inside the system to be addressed. There is a pattern of who is inside of Rikers Island, predominantly black and brown people. We spoke to a gentleman that said they have spent more time in Rikers Island than they have in the streets of their own neighborhood of Brownsville. As for what's next, the elected officials say they hope to have a September hearing on the Holt Solitary Bill and that their main goal is still to close Rikers. At Rikers Island, Marissa Marcelino, News 12. And a Department of Corrections spokesperson tells us, quote, we appreciate our elected officials recognizing the city's progress in improving our jails. We still have much work to do and we remain committed to implementing reform through our action plan and working with the federal monitor.